Hi, y'all. I just wanted to pop on here and let you know that I have finally figured out what to do with all the dick pics. You know that um, Adam, Adam, yours is just precious, but it's so skinny. If we could knit, maybe uh, crochet a little hat for it or something to keep it warm in the winter because it's, you know, it's so thin. And um, that one, probably, probably that one, um, well, I'm just worried about you, okay? Put a, put a mitten on it or a sweater or something. Wrap it up so that it doesn't get cold because it doesn't have any meat on it and it's so thin. Blows my mind that somebody like this not only exists, but also is delusional enough to post it online. and welcome back to the channel so last thing i thought i'd do today is watch a 50 year old uh rate bananas on dating apps uh, but well here we are gentlemen we'll just keep ampu uh dead for this one now let's get started hi y'all i just wanted to pop on here and let you know that i have finally figured out what to do with all the dick pics okay so this is what i did i have a new friend that i met online and it's user 4818bb2 but we're just going to call him 48 okay he is very interested in and uh these photos he's a, a fantastic guy out of california he does an online business he is so so interesting and fascinating and so anyway I have been sending the dick pics to 48 and I wanted to reach out here and let some of the gentlemen who sent them I want to let them know what the review was so 48 said that Steve Steve if you would stop touching it it would straighten back out because it's got that real big curve in it. And so Steve, go ahead, take that advice because that being curved like that, that's probably not a good thing, okay? And uh, Larry, Larry, I wanna let you know that um, th no vitamins are going to make that larger, okay? Cause Steve, uh, Steve's, uh, I think we can fix, but uh, Larry's, uh, I think that that's the way it is. Cause 48 reviewed it, took a good long hard look at it and said that no, no vitamins is going to make that any bigger that you're just going to have to compensate with gifts and with personality okay um, also I want to let you know that um, Adam Adam yours is just precious but it's so skinny and 48 said if we could knit maybe uh, crochet a little hat for it or something to keep it warm in the winter because it's you know it's so thin and um, that one probably probably that one um, well, I'm just worried about you, okay? Put a, put a mitten on it or a sweater or something. Wrap it up so that it doesn't get cold because it doesn't have any meat on it and it's so thin that we, we're worried about the cold weather getting to it. We don't want the frost to get it, okay? Especially if you work outside, honey. If you work outside and you are from up north, I, I'm really worried about you, okay? Guys, please don't leave this video. <laughs> I know this is quite cringe, but I swear it gets better. <laughs> so please don't leave. Let's not have any, you know, ongoing problems because of the weather and it's it, the thinness. All right. Okay. Also, 48 said that um, that Bob and A. Adam Z. A. A well, you know what? His name was just so complicated. We're just going to call him A. 48 said that A, if you, um, if you would put a lotion on that, it wouldn't be dry like that. Um, that you wouldn't have that flaky skin. It, just put a little lotion on it. 48 said that a cure it. He's had that problem before too, not to worry about it. Just put a little lotion on it. So just keep sending the pics and I'll send them, I'll forward them on to 48 and he'll give y'all some uh, healthy reviews that can be um, tips to help you make things better. And uh, the rest of y'all just keep showing off your good ones. Yeah, so the TikTok ends right here. We have just a beautiful commentary on different bananas by a 50-year-old woman. And guys, this is where it has come to, right? This is where all the f years of uh, having fun and getting to know myself, uh, you know, sum up to being 50 and rating Ds on, <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> 
<laughs> now this obviously is satire, uh, satire you know uh, at least for what it's worth I'd rather have this than a woman complaining and whining where have all the good men gone I'm a perfect woman why can't I find a man well you know it's quite funny how men just have absolutely no respect for women like these you know like there are a lot of guys who just send d pics on the internet but it especially makes it funny when you are 50 because you could have avoided that uh where you you know if if you were to try you know when you were younger to date you know better men select better men find a person i mean for all we know guys she's probably divorced right she's probably divorced a good husband uh and now she's here rating d pics well madam there's an easy way out there was anyway now it's too late you've missed your chance you've just missed on prince charming so you know that's what you're left in enjoy your boxed wine uh, and you and your cat can sit together and rate these together but now guys we have another woman so let's hear her out hey y'all so i want to go on a rant real quick i don't think it's going to be that quick but hear me out so there are a lot of um, creators that are talking about this topic. So I'm going to give you the backstory and then I'm going to explain why I kind of want to do a quick rant. So pretty much they are pretty much are saying that, like, you know, when it comes to dating, that men look at dating differently than women. So men will typically keep a woman at a zero when they first meet them, like their interest level. And then a woman would keep a man at 100, give or take, for their interest level when it comes to them first meeting the person. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah guys just tell me how many times in your dating experience have you had a woman show a hundred interest in you right if you're not uh chad if you're not the 20 uh, top 20 percent probably not often if at all right now this woman i've watched the video she doesn't have red flags or you know this is the only sus thing that she says but in general uh, women do not really show a hundred percent interest in men. In fact, it's the opposite. Women have so many options that in the vast, vast majority of the cases, they absolutely dismiss all of the guys who are not who are not top tier, right? They don't care about their personality. They don't care about their achievements. Uh, they downplay everything that they do, right? Now, this is most women. Is this woman any different? Well, let's find out, gentlemen. Uh, but the truth stays that, uh, you know, when I hear that, the first thing that comes to mind is you're dating the chads. You're dating the emotionally unavailable men who have also a lot of options and who play the game uh, using women's strategy, which is I have a lot of options. I'm going to cherry pick the best ones and dismiss all the rest. And so this makes it a little bit different when it comes to dating because one person obviously is like building to like the person whereas the other person is already liking the person from the get-go right so i resonate with this way of thinking because when it comes to me um in dating i think the reason why it's a little hard for me is because i will put that person at 100 like from the get-go especially if we're vibing and i'm having interest in you and stuff like that right here's where the problem lies so with me doing that, a lot of times I'm setting myself up for failure because I'm already having all of this interest in the person, whereas they're probably looking at me as like a zero or maybe a 20. I don't know. And they're wanting to get to know me more before they start liking me, whereas we're vibing and I feel like, you know, the vibes are there. So again, guys, it, please tell me if you agree with me. Am I, it's, is it just me? that I think that there are plenty of men out there willing to go all in with relationships, willing to find a woman, uh, men ready to give their lives for their girlfriends, you know, because every video I do, women just, you know, disagree with me. No, it's not that way. Where have all the good men gone? I have no options. Uh, dating as a woman is so hard. It's impossible to find a good man. What is happening, you know? So... Is it just me? Like, have I gone insane and I'm no no longer in touch with reality, right? I gotta ask myself, you know, what is going on, man? Because, you know, in my day-to-day, -day, I see a lot of men having that behavior where they want to have the old-fashioned traditional lifestyle where they have just one woman, they don't cheat on her, they are loyal, the woman is loyal as well, uh, loyal as well. they have a family, they have kids, they build together, right? I see a lot of men like that, uh, are they just a you know figure of my my 
imagination, right? Are they illusions or something? Or are women, you know, or, or am I correct? I don't get it, gentlemen. Well, I'm liking you more, right? So with all that being said, <laughs> let's get to my whole rant. So in real life, I, I'm going to speak on real life. I'm not going to really speak on like online dating. I'm going to speak in like real life. So when it comes to real life, um, I think that my personality is pretty cool. Like I, I feel that um, I'm a pretty cool person to be around. I, I mean, you know, I think highly of myself, but I really think I'm pretty easy to get along with. So a lot of the times when I'm in group functions, I'll vibe with someone and with vibing with them, having some interests, several interests that are probably the same, we'll, you know, start talking more and numbers are exchanged and socials are exchanged. So if I give you my number, that obviously means that I'm interested in you. I don't just give out my number to everyone who asks for my number. So if I feel like there's a connection, I'm going to give you my number. I am going to assume that you're going to want to talk to me, right? So what gets to me is when you're vibing with someone and you give them your number and they don't respond to your texts or your calls, but on social media, they'll react to your stories. They'll like your stories. They'll, you know, um, like your post and stuff like that. So I guess I'm confused because it's like, why ask me for my number one, if you're not going to use it. And the second thing would be if you're not interested, you don't have to ask for my number. You can honestly just ask for my socials. I mean, honestly, guys, we're going to stop it right here. As she does one of her fancy, you know, camera switches. Um, the guys are just not interested, right? <laughs> you get these men uh, that, you know, clearly what I can see here is they just want to smash, right? Uh, they're liking your pictures, you know, to pique your attention, uh, to make you feel validated. But, you know, they don't care enough to even respond to you back, right? And they didn't call you after your first date or whatever because they they just saw that you know things were not going in the direction of having a one night stand so they probably just forgot about it right and this speaks to me that you just cannot select good partners right i mean th there will always be plenty of men who just want one night stands it's on women guys this is the whole game right you know what men have to do in order to get dating or even one night stands they have to do so many things stick out be better etc what women have to do the, the whole gameplay right is just selecting good men that's it they have all the options they they have like a buffet right uh you know free buffet of um all men you know and they just have to pick the good ones and uh you know weed out the bad ones that's all guys like nothing more be a decent human being and know how to pick partners. That's it. And this woman, apparently, from her ex you know, experience, she's going for men who are unavailable and who don't want nothing from her, right? And, you know, I'll give it to her. At least, you know, allegedly, she's not sleeping with them, right? She's not spreading her legs on the first date, so I'll give her that. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, you know, What's stopping you from the thing that you want is your high standards, which is a really common phenomena in today's day. But now, guys, let's finish this TikTok. I think with um, with COVID, I feel like we've lacked the interpersonal connections with people. So we don't know how to talk to people in real life. I feel like we're just so like online based when it comes to communication. And that honestly takes away from you getting to know a person. Like, I feel like you kind of can't really see reactions of people online. I feel like it's easier to see that when you're, you know, in real life, like going out on dates or getting to know the person and stuff like that. <laughs> so I said <laughs> all of that to say this. I'm not necessarily giving up on dating. I just think that I now am looking at it in a different light now that I know um, how people kind of maneuver when it comes to dating. I don't think I'm going to put people on that 100, you know, um, percent scale when it comes to me liking the person. I should at least like try to like obviously get to know them before I start liking them. Like the interest could be there, but not necessarily just saying like, oh, I like this person. So. I um, definitely want accountability for this, so I'm going to try to um, be more open with like talking about this because I really do want to kind of have like that extra push for me to want to better myself when it comes to this. So if you have any advice, please let me know. Like you can comment, DM me. I, 
any advice um, positive. I don't want any negative advice, but anything positive, like please help me because I feel like um, this could definitely make dating a little bit more of a great experience for me because right now it's not really a great experience, but I definitely am still hopeful that my my guy is out there somewhere. So all right, I'm going to help you, man. I'm going to I'm going to make a whole video uh, in honor to you. Right. And here's the thing. This woman, not half bad, honestly. Uh, the fact that she's not shouting at the camera is already really pleasant for me. Um, and she's not entitled, I would say. She even took some accountability, which is, again, just something we rarely see on this channel. So this woman, now, I don't think that she's been hooking up for multiple years. I don't think she's been in situationships. Again, I can only assume. Uh, but, you know, what she's doing is a problem that many women have, and it's they just aim too high, right? And when I say this, a lot of women will think, oh, what, you want me to date men who are, you know, far beneath me, who, you know, I've put so much work into myself. Why should I uh, settle for a guy who has nothing going on for him? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. Uh, but instead, go for a normal, decent, average guy. Just don't go for the men who are clearly out of your league. And a, a common uh, symptom of these men is that they're not willing to have something serious, right? Because they've made it in life, they have a lot of money, they are successful, they have options, uh, they have everything they want. Why would they seriously commit, especially to a woman who they see as beneath them, right? Like the way these chats behave is the same way that these women behave with regular men. This is why it's so funny when you Uno reverse card them and they are shocked. You know, they are Pikachu shocked face because they didn't expect to get treated in the same way that they are treating the average men, right? So I think that there are a lot of men out there who are normal. And if you get past that thinking that they are boring or that they are beneath your level, you will actually find yourself in quite a healthy relationship and a good one. And again, this is not settling down, gentlemen. We always feel like women have to settle down in order to find a partner. Guys, they don't have to settle down. They just have to lower their unreal and delusional expectations. So this woman, not bad, honestly, uh, but just a little delulu, may I say, right? <laughs> And guys, to close out the video, leave me your thoughts about this woman. Uh, but today I actually stumbled upon a good video, you know, wouldn't you believe it? Women were actually not extremely delusional, they were normal human beings. And I said, you know what, I'm going to leave this video for later. And then I stumbled upon this one, which is a 50-year-old rating dick on the internet. But guys, stick around for the next video, which, uh, you know, in includes women that are not absolutely undateable and that don't make you run for the hills. Wouldn't you believe it? So I'll leave you off with that, gentlemen. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys.